To understand what emphysema is, we need to look at the alveoli. One of the best ways of looking at what the alveoli is, is to look at a toy ball. Imagine this is one alveoli, and this whole surface area is what's available for gas exchange. So if we have a group of alveoli, which are all bunched together like this as they are in your lungs, okay, you are going to have a high surface area for gas exchange, which is what we need. Now in emphysema, what happens is the tissues of the alveoli break down to create one larger bulbous alveoli with a lower surface area. Now to try and understand that, it's hard to do that with a circle because it's hard to measure the surface area of one of these balls. So if we take a block, a square block is probably easy to use, we have one block and we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides of the block. And if we merge them together, so we have four blocks just like this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 sides for gas exchange to take place. Now, if we were to look at all of these individually, we have 24 sides because there are four blocks with six sides. That's 24. But by merging them together, we have less surface area. And this is what happens to your alveoli in your lungs with emphysema. We have a merging together of alveoli to reduce the surface area. Now, some of the other things that happen in your lungs is that the elasticity decreases. So when you breathe out normally, the elasticity of your lungs actually helps expire air out. Now, because you have less elasticity, you have to actually forcefully breathe out more. So you get this kind of forceful expiration with people with emphysema.